Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. So we're looking at common sayings that are flung around in boxing and we're going to bring some clarity to them. Today we're going to look at cherry picking. You know, like when you go to a tree and you see a really nice cherry that you really want to eat and you pick that cherry. Well, similarly in boxing, some people pick opponents that are best suited to their style and so they're called cherry pickers. Those opponents may not be ranked as highly as other opponents. They may not be as risky as other opponents. They may not be as competitive as other opponents or their style may not be as other opponents' styles and it may be a style best suited to the person who's picking them. Now, just because someone picks their opponents doesn't necessarily mean that they're cherry-picked. For instance, as a world champion, you may pick sometimes who you would like to fight, especially if everyone wants to fight you. So in that respect, it's not a cherry-picked opponent just by you picking your opponent. It's a cherry-picked opponent when you pick an opponent that's the weakest opponent available or whether their style is just so compatible with yours that it'll be an easy fight for you. This is also known as cherry-picking. So now that we've said that, I'm going to give you a list of different names for certain fighters and you have to tell me if they were cherry picked or not. Manny Pacquiao versus Joshua Clotty. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Canelo Alvarez versus Floyd Mayweather. Cherry picked, yes or no? Zab Judah versus Amir Khan. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Timothy Bradley versus Casamayor. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Danny Garcia versus Rod Salka. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Leo Santa Cruz versus Manuel Roman. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Manny Pacquiao versus Juan Manuel Marquez 4. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Carlos Baldemir. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Amir Khan versus Chris Algieri. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? And one more. Manny Pacquiao versus Brandon Rios. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Now I use these names because they're the most popular names in boxing right now. You tell me if they're cherry picked opponents or not, okay? This will tell me how much you understand what it means the word cherry pick. In fact, I'll throw in two more. Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Victor Ortiz. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? Kel Brook versus Frankie Gavin. Cherry picked opponent, yes or no? So now you will have to figure out if these opponents we just spoke about, if they were cherry picked or not. Remember, we must look at the style of the opponent, if it's compatible to the style of the person picking them. We have to look at their ranking, if they're ranked lower than other people in the division. We have to look at their skill sets and their status with respect to other fighters, their history, to see if they were cherry-picked or not. These things are important factors. You guys have a great one now.